Kate, and I have three passions, dentistry, dogs, and dancing. And uh, presently, I work with uh, Southeast Transition as a uh, practice dental practice broker, which allows me the opportunity to travel all around with my dogs and work at the same time. I trained at Triple Crown Dog Training Academy, so I have a, uh, a well, it's a master's training in canine behavioral management. And so we train in all different sports. However, I've been in confirmation since the late 70s. And so having said that, we do confirmation, which is our first passion, and then we do agility. We do disc dogging or frisbee sports. We like to do the freestyle uh, dog dancing type thing. We do some uh, dock diving, lure coursing, and um, you know various sports. So we train in all different things. When I'm traveling, I want to make sure that my dogs are safe and secure in their crates. If I have to stop quickly, I want to know that they're not going to just tumble around somewhere. Also, when I travel on a, if I go airline, which I do that as well, the fact that they have an extra lock and they're secure, that gives me extra security there as well. I've bought multiple crate manufacturers over the years, and I haven't found any crates that have been versatile to me uh, and usable to me as these particular crates. Just the fact that I can do every single thing that I need to do I mean, they're easy for me to use whether I'm staying here or I'm going inside. I mean, they're the, the nicety of these crates and the fact that they wipe down so easy, they're easy to clean, they're easy to lift, they're not heavy, you know, they're secure for my dogs, they look beautiful, you know, I, I, I love the presentation of the crates. I love that when I go to a show. I mean, I can stack them up, roll them on a dolly, go right ringside, and I know that everything I need is right there. In confirmation, um, I think that the whole picture of the presentation is important. I mean, the presentation of you with your dog, the presentation of you when you roll up to the ring and you set your crates there with your dog. You know, what you're seeing is when, even if it's a judge or it's other people and they're looking around, the image that they project or the image that you project that they see is exactly the image that's going to carry over into the ring whether you realize it or not. So I believe that presentation is really tremendous. Everywhere I go, whether it's confirmation, whether it's a disc dog show or an agility show or we're dog diving or whatever, I roll up with these crates and somebody always comes up to me and says something to me about what beautiful crates. My first custom East Coast crates were made for my Ford Flex. I couldn't find crates to fit in the width of the vehicle. And because of that, they created, you know, basically the size of the width was a lot less, but the length was the same. And we did a stack set of crates, so they gave me the versatility, and they also built me a platform to slide the crates in. I can't tell you the ease of use from that. One nice thing about these crates is each crate was designed for the size of the dog that I have. Uh, as a dentist, the cleanliness of everything is critical. Sterilization and sterile technique is critical to everything we do. And that carries over into other areas of our life, which includes the dogs. It's important that the dogs are able to have a nice, safe, clean environment. And the nice thing about these particular crates is we can sanitize the crates, I can wipe them down, I can spray them down, I can take care of an accident. Whatever needs to happen, we can utilize that particular solution on these crates and they work out just fine. The other nice thing I like about this is I can groom in here. This is uh, for the grooming arm which is sitting in the back here and put the grooming arm here there's a plug there if it's a rainy day or a cold day or whatever i can groom right inside just as easy as i can groom outside because i do multiple events not just uh, confirmation i do other events i needed a lot of versatility so we put our heads together and pete worked really hard on coming up with a creative way to do this this is just a a rack which uh, slides in i can put three crates in here Right now, what I have in here is I have two pop-up crates and two chairs. And then I have, you know, my other things, my mats and things like that. So this is the crate, this is the dolly or the wheel set that fits these portable crates. But it also fits these crates as well and my red pop-up crates. So I was able to do multiple wheel systems and I had him put uh, some extra... Uh, an extra cord on this so I can turn it into just a regular dolly with extra bars 
just in case I wanted to use it as just a regular dolly system or wheel system so that what we did is minimize the things I have to take to a show in order to do all the things that I need to do. So unlock the keys. Lift right up. Pull the door out. Pull the door out. Grab a screwdriver. And that's it. And you put your grooming arm right here and you're ready to go. And once I flip it over, I unlock it. This is the secret to these. And like I said, whether I have my key or my screwdriver, and I keep a screwdriver in my grooming kit, and I always have my car keys with me somewhere. So I have a couple options to unlock this. And once you flip it over, you let those fall in, and then you just push that in, and you just let it go down. Lock her down. Just open these up. Lock it down. And what I'd like to show you is the wheel system. The wheel system slides out in my vehicle because of my vehicle space, but I turn the wheels around, lock them down. And you put this on your wheel system. And it can lock in place on your wheel system. So you can haul them around like that. But I lock it in place and roll it around inside the show. Alright, the advantages of having a wheel system like this is, this, I mean having pop-up crates like this, is the space. I can take four crates in that one little rack in the back of my car. I can haul them all in on the dolly all together. Or wheel, we call it a wheel system here. But I can haul them all in. And then I use the wheel system as part of the setup. It makes the crate a little bit taller for me for the grooming. And then I just throw the, the, uh, the grooming arm right in the spot. So, plus I can walk into a show and have two hands on the hand, two fingers on the handle. And I can walk into the show and I can pull everything. I'm not, I mean, like, I see these people tugging and pulling and all the stuff's falling off and all that. You don't have that with this because these lock down. They lock down, it holds it all together. It's a beautiful system. You have everything you need to show. But I've got this stack set locked in here and you don't have to have it strapped down. I did that for all my own personal security just because I'm obsessive about safety. But you can see that I can unlock this and I can slide this whole set out. This whole set will slide on that wheel system. And it's easy and simple to use. It's ready to go. It's easy to do that. However, you look at how much space it takes. How many people are going to have that kind of space? If you have the space, it's awesome to have the stack set. If you don't have the space, you can stack up these babies as many as you want. I had these custom made with the side doors because of the vehicle. I wanted to be able to access the dog from the inside and the outside, which he customized that for me. So see, he'll do whatever you need for your particular vehicle or what you're trying to accomplish.